Hello learners, my name is Abhishek Sa and this is your English classroom where we are posting explanation videos of your English chapters and I hope you all are benefited with the videos. So keep watching, keep learning and keep supporting us. Today I have brought a chapter for my SSC students and the name of the chapter is My Greatest Olympic Prize Written by Jesse Wells. Before starting, please take the book, take a highlighter to mark all the Keywords, take a pencil and a copy so that you can note down, you can scribble down all the points and all the notes that I am going to tell you. And one thing that is this chapter, hai, this particular story, this particular chapter is based on true story but and not only story, history has also been included in this particular chapter. So don't look at this particular chapter as the story only, okay, story plus history. इस तौर पे इस हिसाब से इस चैप्टर को देखिए तो फिर समझने में और सुविधा होगा आप सबको सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विथ माय ग्रेटेस्ट ओलंपिक प्राइज रिटन बाय जेसी वेंस एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टोरी इज सेट सेट ऑन 1936 ओलंपिक्स दैट दैट टुक प्लेस इन बर्लिन जर्मनी ओके and Jesse Vance was born in Oakville, Alabama, US and he is an Olympic gold medalist. So, it was the summer of 1936, the Olympic Games were being held in Berlin because Hitler childishly insisted that his performers were members of master race, nationalistic feelings were at an all time high. So, in this particular uh, paragraph, childishly uh, is a keyword and master is a keyword. So, this particular story is talking us about 1936 Olympic that took place in Berlin, Germany. Okay, and uh, because Hitler childishly insisted that his performers were the members of master race. Master race is another keyword. Actually. Uh, master race is something a belief, a belief uh, of Hitler that only their community, okay, only they are superior to all other nations, all other races, all other, I mean, superior to everything. And they are the only person who can be successful, and especially they had a belief that a Negro cannot be successful at all. So, this is what the thing that Jesse Vance had hurt and pinched. So, at that time, Jesse Vance had to say that I have to win the medal in the Olympics. So, his nationalistic feeling was high time. And Hitler said that this Negro can't win it. My performer has to win it. तो इनका भी जो नेशनलिस्टिक फीलिंग था वो हाई था आई वॉजेंट टू वॉरिड अबाउट ऑल दिस आई हैड ट्रेंड स्वेटेड एंड डिसिप्लिन माई सेल्फ फॉर सिक्स ईयर्स विद द गेम्स इन माई माइंड वाइल आई वॉज गोइंग ओवर ऑन द बोट ऑल आई कुड थिंक अबाउट वॉज टेकिंग होम वन और टू ऑफ दोज गोल्ड मेडल्स आई हैड माई आई स्पेशली ऑन द रनिंग ब्रॉड जम्प अयर बिफोर एज अ सोफोमोर सोफोमोर एसेंशियली मीन्स सेकेंड ईयर स्टूडेंट at Wyo State University, I had read, uh, I had set world's record of 26 feet 8 and quarter inches. Everyone kind of expected me to win that Olympic event hands down. So, a lot of information have been given in this particular paragraph. First of all, uh, about the nationalistic feelings or about the master race, okay, Jesse Vines, the speaker was not worried at all. Why? Because he trained himself, sweated himself and disciplined himself for six years. So, he was determined, okay, determination, one characteristics uh, one characteristic of this particular uh, author, okay, with games in mind. ये होता है जैसे कि मैं एक theatre artist हूँ, तो ये होता है ना कि हमेशा हम लोग के दिमाग में जो rehearsal है वो चलता रहता है। मान लो कि एक program है, तो उस program में क्या होगा, stage में कैसे perform करना है, एक particular dialogue जो है उसे कैसे deliver करना है, या फिर director ने कैसे उसे direct किया है, कहाँ पे position है, किस side घूमना है, तो सब कुछ जो है हम लोग के दिमाग में चलता रह so similarly, the game was in the mind of Jesse Vance. This is the reason and one more thing, he trained himself. He had trained himself, disciplined himself 
for 6 years. This is the reason he was not worried at all about the game and while he was going, while he was on the boat at that time, his mindset was to win one or two gold medals for his nation, for his country. Okay. And last year that is uh, 1935 in the year of 1935 he already had set world's record world record uh, of 26 feet 8 and quarter inches so he was already a winner and this is the reason this year also sabhi koi jo tha ye cha raha tha ki is saal bhi jesse voency jeete that means characteristics of jesse voency we are getting from this particular uh, paragraph is that he was determined Okay, his eyes set uh, on gold medals, he was loved by all and he already had set world record last year that is in the year of 1935 at Wyo uh, uh, State University as a sophomore that is that means as a second year student. I was in for a surprise when the time came for the broad jump trial I was startled to see a tall boy hitting the pit at almost 26 feet on his practice leaps. He turned out to be German named Lars Long. I was told that Hitler had kept him under wraps evidently hoping to win the jump with him. So, trial ke time kya hua tha? Achanak se Jesse Vez jo hai vikdam chog gya. एक बंदे को देख के एक एथलेट को देख के ओके okay, वो जर्मन था और उनका नाम था लर्स लॉन्ग एंड ही वॉज अंडर कवर बाय हिटलर पहले मैंने कहा हिटलर जो था वो मास्टर एस पे बिलीव करते थे वो लोग कि वही लोग सक्सेसफुल हो सकता है वही लोग बेस्ट है वही लोग सुपीरियर है और कोई नहीं है इनफैक्ट दे हैड बिलीव दैट अ नीग्रो कैन नॉट बी सक्सेसफुल इन हिज लाइफ सो इसीलिए और या और डेफिनेटली तो ये जो बिलीफ है हिटलर भी यही चाहेगा कि उनका जो बिलीफ है वो प्रूफ हो जाए इसके लिए क्या है ओलंपिक में जो है हिटलर का जो परफॉर्मर है उन्हें गोल्ड मेडल जीतना ही है उन्हें मेडल जीतना ही है दिस इज द रीजन लर्स लॉन्ग वॉज अंडर raps he was under cover by whom by uh, hitler i guessed that if long won it would add some new support to the nazis aryan superiority theory after all i am a negro so see jesse was understood that he failed that agar लज लॉन्ग जीत जाए तो ये और ज़्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग करेगा सपोर्ट करेगा किसको सपोर्ट करेगा हिटलर को सपोर्ट करेगा उसका जो मास्टर है इसका जो बिलीफ है जो थ्योरी है उसे सपोर्ट करेगा तो उसके माइंड में ये चल रहा है कि उसे जीतने नहीं देना मतलब वो ना जीते ओके जीते जो मेडल जो है वो उसे जैसी वो जैसी वंस को ही मिले a little hot under the collar little hot under the collar keyword it means uh, with anger uh, about hitler's way i determined to go to the to go out there and really show der fehrer der fehrer means tyrannical leader keyword and his master is here master is has been uh, i mean uh, told in a sarcastic manner okay sarcastic way who was superior and who was not so ab usse dekh ke aur ye baat soch ke ekdam dimag ghum gaya jesse wins ka okay he became very angry and he determined that i will go to him go to the tyrannical master tyrannical leader that is hitler and i will show him who is best he is best i mean his uh, competitor is best or i am the best one an angry athlete is an athlete who will make mistakes as any coach will tell you i was no exception on the first of my three qualifying jumps i leaped from several inches beyond the takeoff board for a foul on the second jump i fouled even worse did i come 3000 miles for this i thought bitterly to foul out to the trial and make a fool of myself so in this particular paragraph we are getting two things first of all the state of mind of jesse wins and second his self-realization so as he was very angry so he kept making mistakes in the trial okay total तीन ट्रायल वहां पे होना है उसके बाद फाइनल में कोई जा सकता है तो पहले दो ट्रायल पे जो है उन्होंने जेसी ने फाउल कर दिया नहीं जीत पाया ओके एट दैट टाइम ही रियलाइज्ड सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन उसे हुआ कि मैं 3000 माइल आया हूं इसके लिए ताकि मैं यहां पे हार जाऊं और मैं खुद को एक फूल एक यू नो एक नाकाम एक एथलीट मैं खुद को साबित करूं हैव आई कम हियर फॉर दिस रीजन वॉकिंग अ फ्यू इयर्स 
from the pit i kicked disgustedly at the dirt suddenly i felt a hand on my shoulder turning point a twist okay suddenly he felt he was in he was frustrated he was depressed okay in and in disgusting uh, manner he just kicked the pit and suddenly he felt that someone touched uh, someone uh, touched his shoulder i turned uh, i turned to look into the friendly blue eyes keyword of the tall german keyword broad jumper he had easily qualified for the finals on his first attempt he offered me a firm handshake a firm handshake another keyword so when he was very frustrated when he was very depressed at that time he felt that someone touched his shoulder he just turned and he saw that a tall german was standing over there with his friendly blue eyes that means this is lars long and lars long jo hai wo apne pehle trial pe hi qualify kar gaya tha finals ke liye and he they had a firm handshake so firm handshake given or offered by lars long to jesse wins shows that lars long was having a warm personality all these words like friendly blue eyes tall german firm handshake you must use all these key phrases keywords in your answer to you know to uh, make it look more gorgeous okay so that the examiner can have the knowledge can understand that this particular student has read the has gone through the whole chapter very and very carefully jesse wins i am lars long i don't think we have met he spoke English well, though with a German twist to it. Pura mark karlo. He spoke English well, though with a German twist to it. So he was a German, but then also he was speaking in, he was talking in English. So there was German twist. Okay, glad to meet you. I said. Then trying to hide my nervousness, I added, "How are you? I am fine." The question is, "How are you? What do you mean?" I asked. So. Lars Long asked that uh, fine i don't think we have met before then he said yeah i am fine how are you then lars long said the question is i am fine but the question is how are you because lars long could feel he could understand that something was troubling jesse wins definitely jesse wins already <coughs> sorry <coughs> definitely jesse wins uh, was already a winner in the year of 1935 right so at that time he failed he um, uh, could not qualify himself in his two first two trials this is the reason he was very frustrated he and that particular uh, thought was troubling him and lars long jo hai usse samajh mein aaya wo samajh paya ki ye jo hai ye jo banda hai ye disturbed hai isliye usse pucha ki i am fine but the question is how are you aap kaise ho ya fir tum kaise ho something must be eating you he said proudly the way foreigners are when they have mastered a bit of american slang you should be able to qualify with your eyes closed so one more now see uh, you should be able to qualify with your eyes closed ye jo sentence hai ise do tarah se hum log dekh sakte hai ek hai admiration ke taur pe aur ek hai sarcastic manner pe but definitely lars long jo hai But he offered Jesse Wins a firm handshake, and he's a good kind of he's a, a good kind of person. He was good at heart. So, यहाँ पे sarcastic manner जो है वो हम लोग नहीं सोचेंगे, वो हम लोग नहीं लेंगे. Okay? Admiration के तौर पे ही हम लोग लेंगे कि Jesse Wins, uh, sorry, Lars Long जो है वो Jesse Wins को बोल रहा है कि तुम तो आँख बंद करके तुम तुम खुद को qualify कर सकते हो, right? Because he was already a winner in uh, the year of 1935. believe me i know it i told him and it felt good to say that someone so believe me i know it said by jesse wins and this particular line shows that jesse wins was very much self confident for the next few minutes we walked we talked together i did not tell long what was eating what was eating that particular eating see it is uh, given in quotation keyword me but he seemed to understand my anger and he took pains to reassure me although he had been schooled in the nazis youth movement he did not believe in the aryan supremacy so wo uh, german hai fir bhi hitler ka jo belief hai मास्टर का जो बिलीफ है जो थ्योरी है उस पर वो बिलीव नहीं करता है ठीक है ही डिड नॉट बिलीव इन द आर्यन सुप्रीमेसी बिजनेस एनी मोर देन आई डिड वी लव्ड ओवर द वी लव्ड ओवर द फैक्ट दैट ही रियली लुक्ड दैट ही रियली लुक्ड द पार्ट दो 
an inch taller than i an inch taller than i another key phrase he had a lean muscular frame clear blue eyes blond hair and strikingly handsome chiseled face so all these are keywords description of luz long ye sab jo words hai sab add karna apni answer mein that how he was he was a lean he had a lean and muscular frame clear blue eyes blue eyes ka reference pehle bhi hum logo ko mila hai blond hair and strikingly handsome he was very handsome and chisel face face yani ki yahan pe jo hai thoda andar ghusa hua hai chisel kind of face finally seeing that i had calmed down somewhat he pointed to the tick off board so see very diplomatically very diplomatically luz long at first calmed uh jesse wins okay then he took him that means luz long took jesse wins to the take off board look he said why don't you draw a line a few inches in back of the board and aim at making your take off from there you will be sure not to foul and you certainly ought to jump for far enough to qualify what does it what does it matter if you are not first in the trial tomorrow is what counts so here we are getting three things first of all luz long up jesse wins ko board lai you just you must draw a line ओके okay, एक लाइन आप ड्रॉ कर लो वहां से आप अपना जो टेक ऑफ है वो लो एंड आई नो आई बिलीव आई डू बिलीव दैट यू विल बी क्वालिफाइड उसके बाद ये भी कर रहा है जैसे लज लॉन्ग जैसी मैं इसको ये भी बोल रहा है कि व्हाट डज इट मैटर इफ यू आर नॉट फर्स्ट इन द ट्रायल्स टुमारो इज वॉट काउंट सो ही इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई मीन टॉकिंग अ लॉट टॉकिंग विथ अ लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी और बहुत पॉजिटिव वाइब्स जो है वो लज लॉन्ग में काम करता है ओके सो एंड ही इज गिविंग अ टेक्निकल टिप टू जेसी वेंस ओके एंड ही वाज वेरी मच प्रैक्टिकल माइंडेड बिकॉज ही कुड सेंस ही कुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट जेसी वेंस मस्ट ड्रॉ अ लाइन एंड ही कुड एंड ही शुड जंप फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर लाइन इफ एंड एंड ही वुड बी क्वालिफाइड वेरी इजिली सो ही वॉज गुड एट गिविंग टेक्निकल टिप्स एंड ही वॉज वेरी मच प्रैक्टिकल माइंडेड एंड ही वॉज गुड एडवाइजर बिकॉज उसने जो है लज लॉन्ग जो है जेसी वंस को एडवाइज कर रहा है कि आज क्या हुआ अगर फर्स्ट ट्रायल में तुम क्वालिफाई नहीं कर पाए तो इट डज नॉट मैटर टुमोरो इज वॉट काउंट्स कल फाइनल में जो होगा पूरा दुनिया वही याद रखेगा Suddenly, all the tension seemed to about about another keyword of my body as in the as the truth of what he said me. Confidently, I drew a line, a full foot in back of the board, and proceeded to jump from there. I qualified with almost a foot to spear. So Jesse wins. Was qualified in the third attempt. Okay, and he. is a good follower whatever i mean uh, luz long advised him to do he just followed and he was qualified in his third attempt that night i walked over to luz long's room in the olympic village to thank him so he was very grateful jesse wins was very grateful also he had the sense of gratitude or thankfulness okay i knew that if he if it had not been for him i probably would not be jumping in the finals the following day we sat in his quarters and talked for 2 hours about track and field our sales and the world situation a dozen other things so track and field our sales <coughs> the dozen situations all these are keywords and we are also getting that he they both of them both of them had uh, extreme love for uh, sports and both of them were very much knowledgeable okay when i finally got up to leave we both knew that a real friendship had been formed so a new life begins from here unknowingly a friendship was formed between them luz would go out to the field the next day trying to beat me and if he could uh, trying to beat me if he could but i knew that he wanted me to do my best even if that meant my winning so jesse wins was uh, pretty sure that next day luz long would go to the field to uh, i mean to win the medals but with, with the thought also or with the thought also he would push jesse wins to do or to give his best performance agar uske liye wo jeet bhi jaye to doesn't matter so we can say that you know that uh, friendship is nothing but the meeting of 
माइंड एंड हर्ट एज इट टर्न आउट लस ब्रोक इज वोन पास रिकॉर्ड इन डूइंग सो ही पुस्ट मी ऑन टू अ पिक परफॉर्मेंस सो ही ऑलवेज पुस्ट लस लॉन्ग ऑलवेज पुस्ट जेसी वेंस टू गिव हिज बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंस और पिक परफॉर्मेंस आई रिमेंबर दैट एट दैट I remember that at the instant I landed from my final jump the one which set the olympic record of 26 feet 5 5 by 16 inches he was at my side congratulating me despite the fact that hitler glared at us from the stand not a hundred uh, yards away lars shook my hand hard and it was not ye line pura mark karo and it was not a fake smile with a broken heart shot of grip either so finally lars long was there by jesse van sides to congratulate him and he just you know both of them had a, a handshake and jesse and lars long was really very happy from the heart okay and he was congratulating jesse wins from the heart only despite uh, having the fact that hitler kuch hi dur 100 years bhi nahi hitler wahan se un dono ko dekh raha hai definitely hitler jo hai wo kabhi nahi chahega ki unka jo performer hai lazlong hai jise under cover rakha gaya tha itne din wo ek negro se baat kare usse congratulate kare right kyunki master race ka jo belief hai wo बिलीफ पे बहुत ही मतलब हिटलर जो है उस बिलीफ पे उस थॉट पे वो बिलीव करता बिलीव करता था सो वो कभी नहीं चाहता इसीलिए यहाँ पे ये बोल रहा है कि कुछ ही दूर में जो है हिटलर जो है उनके तो उन दोनों की तरफ ग्लियर कर रहा है ठीक है कि वाई माई परफॉर्मर इज शेकिंग हैंड विद अ नीग्रो हुम हिटलर डिड नॉट वॉन्ट टू बी अ सक्सेसफुल मैन You can melt down all the gold med gold medals and cups I have. Yeah, Jesse Owens said that, and they could not be a plating on the 24 carat friendship I felt for Lars Long at that moment. So he is telling, wow, I mean, jitna cups mujhe mila hai, medals mila hai, mila hai, sab kuch ko ekdam melt kar do. Lekin uske baavjud bhi the friendship that he failed, that he failed for Lars Long, wo kabi nahi mil sakta hai. Uh, i realized then too that lars was epitome of what peri uh, peri de uh, cobertin founder of the modern olympic games must have said in uh, must have had in mind when he said the important thing in the olympic games is not winning but taking part the essential thing in life is not con conquering but fighting well so he is telling that फाउंडर uh, जो है ओलंपिक गेम का दैट इज पियर इज दी कॉबर्ट इन वो उन्होंने जब कहा था ये बात कि द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इन द ओलंपिक गेम्स इज नॉट विनिंग बट टेकिंग पार्ट तो वो क्यों कहा था बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम जिसी वो जैसी कुड अंडरस्टैंड कुड फील द रियल फ्रेंडशिप दैट ही हैड फॉर और विथ लज लॉन्ग राइट बिकॉज सी जेसी वेंस बिलोंग बिलोंग्स टू अ यू नो ब्लैक स्किन कम्युनिटी और रेस एंड लज लॉन्ग हिटलर्स परफॉर्मर वाइट स्किन लेकिन उसके बावजूद भी जितना सारा वहाँ पे बैरियर्स था मास्टर रेस का जो बिलीव था सब कुछ को एकदम सब उतना जितना बिलीव था वहाँ पे सारा बिलीव को पीछे छोड़ के उन दोनों में जो फ्रेंडशिप हो गया था वही मेन था सो दिस इज अ लर्निंग दिस इज अ मॉरल दिस इज अ लेसन फॉर आवर लाइफ ऑल्सो दैट इट इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट इट इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट टू विन इन लाइफ बट फाइटिंग वेल इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट दैन विनिंग इन लाइफ so this is the complete explanation and one more thing that is uh, theme of this particular story is the true spirit of olympics is not winning but taking part and the friendship the loyal friendship that was formed between lars long and jesse wins okay so this is the complete explanation i hope you all have marked down all the keywords and you all have marked down Uh, noted down all the notes all the points that i have explained that i have told you aur ye mera belief hai ki ye jo explanation hai aap sab ise dekho uske bawajood bhi agar kuch problem ho kuch kuch bhi question ho aap mujhe comment box pe likh sakte ho dm kar sakte ho facebook mein ya fir instagram mein 
or I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Okay? If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon for getting regular updates and please leave your precious comment. अच्छा लगता है अगर आप लोग कुछ कमेंट करो और डेफिनेटली अपने दोस्तों के साथ भी शेयर करो बिकॉज गुड थिंग्स मस्ट बी शेयर थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग